Intel officially announced its next generation lineup of Core X series enthusiast CPUs and their accompanying X299 chipset earlier last week. The companies branded the new high-end desktop platform to include a wide array of CPU SKUs from quad-core KB Lake X parts to an 18-core 36-thread Xeon Derived flagship monster of a chip. The new lineup in its entirety would be compatible with the company's new LGA 2066 socket and X299 chipset to somewhat simplify things, but for the first time we'll see a simultaneous launch of two different architectures on the same socket from both KB Lake and Skylake. The KB Lake X setup will be based from the same quad-core silicon that's already been available in the LGA 1151 socket since last year and will only really offer a slightly higher clock speeds. The Skylake X parts are where things get a bit more interesting. Splitting lanes limits the i7 to 28 lanes, meaning that you'll need to go up to the i9 range if you want the full 44 PCI Express lanes. Now Skylake X doesn't really stop there, it looks like Intel will be leveraging two different CPU dies for this line up as well an LCC or a low core count or a high core count or HCC. The LCC maxes out at 12 cores and the HCC maxes out at 18 cores and that's where the trouble comes in. All Skylake X parts based on the HCC die will see delayed availability Intel has told the press at Computech. When exactly they're going to be available Intel hasn't announced just yet although it appears that these parts will actually see a very significant delay as an ASUS representative has revealed the 18 core CPU won't be available till next year in a response to another post on their forum. To quote, it says the 18 core CPUs are not scheduled until next year. Won't have them for a while. Either way, unless you're using the rig for rendering or encoding to make a living, there's really no need. So that's quite telling with that part. Now seeing as how the 16 and 14 core parts are based on the same silicon, it's possible that these processes will, processors will also receive a delayed availability. Now the 12 core LCC flagship Core i9-7920X looks like we'll also be seeing a delay availability according to Intel, but will likely launch sooner than the HCC parts. Unfortunately for Intel, the delayed availability of HCC parts leaves a sizable gap for AMD to take advantage of with their new Threadripper and X399 platform. And just one day after Intel announced the Core X series and the X299 chipset, AMD came out with its own announcement of enthusiast Threadripper CPUs on the X399 chipset. As you can clearly tell from the name AMD chose for its chipset, it is stopping at nothing to go ahead and one-up Intel on the high-end desktop platform. Perhaps this kerfuffle was due to being completely blindsided by AMD's Threadripper, but it could be just a manufacturing mishap. I guess we'll have to wait to see how things shake out after the two chip giants have released all of their CPUs for this generation. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Stay tuned here for more information and for a more in-depth look at all of this, feel free to hit the link in the description for the full article. And thank you for watching.